Hey folks, DJ with Rabbit School Garage, and I'm going to be putting in, I got this kit on Amazon, it's a, an interior lights kit, and it supposedly has all the bulbs for the entire inside, um, and it looks like it came with some instructions, and like I said, I got it on Amazon, so there'll be a link in the description for it, but it comes with instructions and uh, this little plastic trim tool to assist with getting the bulbs out, I assume. So, let's go ahead and get this put in. Before we get started uh, putting these lights in, I just wanted to give you the next project that I'll be doing. It's a CB radio with the antenna, and I'll have a PA speaker and an external speaker to get it installed also. This is the um, President Andy. It's a small, it's nice and small. Um, probably you know size of my hand so yeah that's the next project all right let's go ahead and get these lights put in all right we're going to go ahead and start with these two on the front here and uh as i showed you in that picture a second ago it tells you where all the lights go so um these are the front maps it says so we're gonna pull this package out so, these are the front mount ones. Basically, I think... Yeah, there's a little clip up there. So you pop your sunshield thing off. It looks like there's a little clip right there that's holding it in. Oh, there it goes. Wow, look at that. I guess you don't have to take that off. Or do you? It's just pulling those out. Yeah, it looks like it's... Oh, okay, I see. This is all one big piece. There you go. It's all one big piece for both lights. So you don't even need to open that. Um, just held in by these little plastic tabs. Easy enough. All right, let's see. Oh, that's hot. All right, those are kind of a little tough to get out of there. They're um, kind of shoved up in there pretty good. And they're hot. <laughs> so make sure you do all this while the, the bulb isn't burning. I'm trying to do it without breaking the bulb. Doesn't want to come out. <clears throat> Maybe that's what this little tool's for. Let's see. Oh yeah, there you go. So you can get that little tool up in there and it'll pull the light bulb right out. Just kind of kind of wiggle it a little bit. See if we can get it done on this side too. Yep, there it goes. See, nice and easy. Then we'll just take these new ones. Let's see, shove them right up in there. Just like that. Maybe. That's just like that. Let's open the door, make sure they work. They both work. Wow, those look a lot brighter. A lot brighter. I'll come out here at night and uh, open the door and let you see what it looks like later this evening. But uh, yeah, that's it on the front. So we just go ahead and let's close the door again. Go ahead and then just shove this right back up into place. Okay. Why does that keep popping out like that? There it goes. Now it's clipped in. That's it. Okay, that's it on the front ones. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. So that was these two we just put in. Now we're gonna go ahead and move to these rear map lights. So with this, you just pop it off like that. I, I 
somehow it wasn't recording, but basically I'll just pop this off just like that and it comes right off. So not a big deal. Um, but the, I wanted to show you this. The bulbs that came out, come on, focus. The bulbs that came out um, are like this, and these are the new ones. And you can see the diameters quite a bit different, right? So what you need to do is take your little copper tabs here and squeeze them together a little bit. And you should be able to just do that with your hand. You know, squeeze them together. And if you can't get them squeezed together tight enough, go grab a pair of pliers and do it. But this should work just fine. So, yeah, this should work. Looks good. Remember, these are directional, so you have to you have to put the the uh, LEDs facing down. Okay. backwards probably like I said this one I had to turn around because it's not lighting up very well or not lighting up when I'm putting it in oh. there it is all right that's those two man that's those are really so bright now let's open a door and see how the third one to make sure it's working and it is all right there it is nice and easy to install I'm just gonna put this back on real quick it just snaps right into place and oops got blood on it <laughs> that's funny how'd i cut my finger i didn't even know i cut my finger oh well yep there it is we're good all right here we are outside and uh we're gonna see what these led lights look like um at night just unlock the truck and see they came on and man look at that just lit up you can't really see it as well on the camera probably but man they are good and bright so yeah there we go all right well that's it um Quick and easy, like I said. Uh, the only reason I even put a video out for it was just to show you how to take the covers off, basically. Um, like if the kit did come with uh, two bulbs for the license plate and two bulbs for the third uh, brake light, or for the cargo, you know, the cargo lights, not the brake light itself. So um, I'm not gonna put those on because I plan on getting the brake lights that are set in um, I think they come off of an F-250 maybe. I'm going to have to look that up. But because I'm kind of a backup camera, which I don't have right now, I'm going to put one in. It's on the way. And uh, as far as the cargo light, I'm going to replace the whole cargo light with LED. So I'm not even going to use those bulbs. I should have thought about that when I bought the kit. But this kit is good. I mean, it's the lights look great. And um, like I said, I'll put a link in the description. So you can get it on Amazon. Pretty cheap you know easy to install makes a big difference at night so if you could go ahead and like share subscribe all that good funky stuff and uh i will catch you all on the next one